Studies show that intergenerational relationships are mutually beneficial. Young people gain self-esteem and have better attitudes about older adults, and interacting with young people boosts the mental and physical health of their older counterparts. <laughs> okay, my friends, these are the preschoolers coming in, so they've got a lot of energy. One case study is the Benavia Community Center for Older Adults in Arizona's West Valley, where many members are in the early stages of dementia. One of its biggest draws is an on-site preschool. Activities with Benavia's grandmas and grandpas are built into the curriculum. I stay out too late. When we get to see the little ones, it's very heartening. It makes us all feel younger again. Benavia member Colleen Peterson has family nearby, but loves interacting with the younger generations here. I had one little, little boy and he was just sobbing and sobbing and I just kind of patted him and then pretty soon he just slid right off my lap, went with the other kids and started playing. <laughs> Peterson has mild cognitive impairment, which led to depression and anxiety. Her daughter Kathy says the children are a powerful antidote. I think the best treatment is, um, you know, socializing and working with those kids is so cheerful. And I think that has really helped. An added bonus, the kids benefit from these intergenerational interactions too. Alina Smallman's three-year-old daughter Luna attends Benavia's preschool. She's had so much fun in a couple of the different like activities that they do that she'll just tell me about it for days or she'll ask me when she gets to go and see them again. Do you like being with the grandmas and grandpas? Do you have favorite grandmas and grandpas? Luna didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings, so she didn't name names. <laughs> Arizona is a popular retirement destination, but all across the country, there are plenty of programs for people who prefer to stay where they are. 